Previously on Drake Paragon. Take a good look at this prop in the rudder. That's what that sound has been. The rudder is hitting bottom. Non-refrigerated packs of tofu. I was thinking if you put a sailing rig onto like a boogie. One of those windows used to be my office. Traveling through the mountains of clothes. Is it absolutely unsafe, like in a storm? Non-refrigerated miso dish. It doesn't require refrigeration until you open it. This one. Yeah, I like this one. Sixteen dollars for a gallon. Yeah. It's a deal. So that's four dollars a liter. Sesame oil. Mirin. This is another thing oh. that we cook with a lot. Plain, right? Not spicy. Yeah, nothing. yeah. Oh, I didn't see that one. Or this is a one dollar more, but it's really good. In cold weather, if you guys like in the middle of the ocean, yeah, that would be good. They use the uh, oxtail soup base, mm. okay. so it's a little more different taste than rest of the ramen. Yeah. Okay. It's really good. It's good on both. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Cool. Okay. Well, to try as well. It's really plain. Mm -hmm. So if she needs to eat something, aye, aye, she, aye. she's sitting in the cockpit, she can just go. Yep, yep. They're easy to make. You just got to be careful not to spill them. Yeah. Uh, time to get some nori. Yeah, it's a huge pack. This really is an education for me. Oh yeah. Go to Greenland, eat Japanese food. Just every once in a while. Spam. <laughs> you don't like spam, do you? I like spam. Do you? I like spam. Really? <laughs> well, you know, you eat spam when you can. <laughs> but I'm thinking the go bag to have spam. Spam in the ditch bag. Yeah. Yeah. Because then you, you just throw in two cans of spam and you don't worry about it. We have an interview with Eric Forsyth talking about spam. But it's actually very useful. You can eat it cold with cheese or fried with eggs or uh, chilled. Mm -hmm. It's good, chopped up. Wow. Um, you can even just leave it in the go bag, it needs me. Okay. Yeah. Once hermetically sealed, the soy milk is transformed into a smooth silken tofu right inside the box. You don't need to put this in refrigeration, it can be yeah. outside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For like, you know, a year. And then I don't know about a year, but mm. there's an expression. August. Well, November yeah. 16. Uh, it's not as good. Yeah. But it's it's all okay. It's okay. For miso yeah. soup and soup. soup. This is perfect. Mackerel. Wow. Mo loves mackerel. Gyoza. Gyoza. Yeah. Seafood gyoza. Pork and chicken gyoza. <laughs> Spicy beef gyoza. You ever have gyoza before? No. Alright, that and, and the rice no. are done. Which one would you like? Ah, nishiki. Let's get two of them. And then two of these. Oh yeah. my good lord, where are you guys going? Oh, uh, is that gonna go? Oi, thank you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we're in a sailboat. We're going to sail to Ireland. No kidding. Yeah. How many people? Three people. 42 foot boat. Will be enough for you this food only? I think so. <laughs> How many days? Uh, 90 days. Four months, maybe. Do you know Waterboat Marina? Yes. Where are you from? Lebanon. Wow. How about you? I'm from Boston. Boston originally? Where, where, which exactly? I grew up in Brighton and oh, Alston really? and Somerville. It used to be a tough neighborhood back then. I've been here for 30 years. Really? I'm from Ireland. Ireland? So nice. 
I'm over to help this guy sail back there. <laughs> so, so three people only. Yeah, three people. Yeah, yeah we're I gonna. Woman, woman or man? My girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So three of us will spend four so months. Who's the cook? Me. I cook all meals. The deep water. Can you f fish really? You get fish there? Yeah, you can fish. Yeah. Sure. You, you stop. You have to stop, or you keep moving. On your no, fish we're always there. moving. Yeah. yeah, we just trail. Uh, so uh, you have a license for that? Because otherwise, you may get lost or something in the ocean or something. We use a GPS. Or like this one, but for boat. Yeah, except yeah. for boat. Well, anybody can sail this. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How long have you been driving a cab in Boston? Tw Twenty years. Now. Twenty years. Wow, so you know what Boston was like 20 years ago. It's changed a lot. Do you remember this area here, near the market here? Sure. Was, 30 years ago, was nothing here. It used to be like a really scary area. Like yeah. In the middle of nowhere. Before it was very good, turned to be bad, and yeah. now bad is good. <laughs> but I remember Chinatown was, used to be very bad too. Yeah. Do they still call it the combat zone? No, no, no. Not anymore. Oh, no, very safe now. I went to Michigan for a short time. I, I, I had a liquor store in Detroit. Yeah. And I, they told me, Boston is bad. I came back here. I said the worst part of Boston is like heaven compared to Detroit. Even getting worse now. Nothing bad. Very sad. So how long have you been away? I've Boston? been gone since 2005. So you travel all over the world now? Mm -hmm. So where are you gonna go? We are gonna go from here to Nova Scotia, and yes. then oh, to nice. uh, Newfoundland, yes. and then to Greenland. I know. Uh, yeah. And then to Iceland. So it's a good time to go now because it will be summer. Summer. In the, in the winter time. Yeah. Down south, uh, no, in the winter time we'll stay in one place in a marina through the winter in England yeah. or Ireland. Do you live all the time at the boat? All the time, since 1995. Well, you don't have to pay rent, I think. It depends. You know, if you go to a marina, you need to pay to be able to keep your boat in a marina. You know, it's so expensive? Cheaper than an apartment. Yeah, but then you know you have to buy the boat, which costs money. So you have money a lot of free time when you in the winter time. So in the winter time? Well, no, I edit video 14 hours a day. Oh really? Yeah, I sit in front of a computer and edit oh. video all day long. If you're happy, I'm, I'm happy for you. <laughs> and for how long are you going to do that? For? Well, I think in four more years we'll come back to the oh. United States. Oh, and then we go yeah. back. Again. And then we'll keep going. It'll just be a, a place to stop for a while. So we we'll probably have a lot of adventure on the sea. It's hard not to have an adventure <laughs> when you're crossing the ocean. You're so busy. Looking down at the there's gonna be storm coming in the way, so you can you avoid it, go away from it. You can get the weather forecast and find out what's happening with weather. So you know what's going on going ahead of you. Yeah. You once you leave land though and you're gone for like hundreds of miles away from land if a big storm comes you can't always get away and you just have to prepare and get ready for it to hit it's good to see boston again left here right yeah 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 I love Boston. This is my favorite city. Me too. What do you love about Boston the most? You know, what's your favorite thing? I, I like it's a very European in a way, and American a little bit American, very European. It's not very big city. It's like small city, big like a big town. I mean, yeah. small city, but uh, people, very young people, international city. Yep. And uh, you have a lot of things you want here. You want to go for music stuff. Uh, yep. Anything you want, it's here. Really? Oh, take a ride, right? Yeah, take a right here. Just the quantities alone. I know it's for three months for the rice. That's yeah. What eating. But still, like this isn't even all the food yet. We still have. To oh no, this is just the Asian market. Whenever we go grocery shopping, we like to eliminate as much of the packaging as we can before we bring it to the boat. It makes you very conscious of how much waste there can be. Yeah. Soybean oil. I'm not arguing that they're healthy. I'm not arguing that they're healthy. I'm just saying, but if it's bad weather, for me and Mo, like if my stomach's not great, I always love these. I love them. I love them. They're perfect. All you gotta do is boil water. You've got something hot and hydrating and yeah. delicious. Six bags of rice and uh, a few noodle soup. It's starting to become a little bit real now. We're going. We're going. We're going. <laughs> when you start buying food for your trip, you know it's getting soon. Okay. Okay. 
So here we are. Almost ready to push off from Waterboat Marina in Boston and head for Gloucester. Um, to stay there for just a couple of days, get our charts, get some other supplies, and then push off for Lunenburg. Taking the last look at one of my favorite cities in the world. Filling up the water jug. We have a water maker on board, but I've never used it. It came with the boat. I don't know if it works. I don't know anything about it. It's on the list. Um, and it's always sort of been at the back of the list. And I think we're just about ready to go. We have this issue with the rudder, which is new. Since we left North Carolina, we've occasionally been noticing this banging sound. And we were never really sure what it was until today. I put on the snorkel here and I examined the rudder and got underneath the rudder and was able to actually lift it up and then let go of it and it dropped down and it made this big thud. So there's this play, up and down play in the rudder such that when we get hit by a big weight, the rudder can get sort of popped up by maybe an eighth of an inch and then it slams back down and you know, no matter how you look at it, it can't be good. We're going to seek some professional advice on how to correct this before we go. If we can't correct it without hauling the boat and delaying our departure by weeks, um, then I'd like some guidance on how bad that is. Like, how bad is it really that it pops up and down like that? Is it absolutely unsafe, like in a storm? Or is it nothing? So, I'm gonna find out. I'm kind of worried about it. But we are still moving as if we're going to push off for Nova Scotia in a few days. I think we're going to find out that it's not a big deal, or possibly we will find out a way to correct it that may not delay us by weeks. So, we'll find out. Cool. How do you know? Ina is awesome. <laughs> I haven't had that many crew, but... He is, uh... Definitely turning out to be a great crew. Very helpful. I think it's going to be a great voyage. There you go. Good form. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. It's Here, I'll give us a good push. Oh, no, you got it. No, no, no. Watch out for that thing! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, that's just two or three. Hey, whatever works. <laughs> that's wrong, boy! You direct me, right? Yes, I can. Yeah, you're doing good. You're, you're doing perfect. Excellent. Right on course. A little bit distracting. Ahoy, Paragon! Ready? Hello, how are you? Wonderful. We have mucho rice and gyoza. Really, really good. So I got one or two things, yeah. and may have spent more than a dollar. You're like the big Lebowski in that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot. That's so cool. I'm the dude. You, you are, are the, dude. the dude. That's so cool. Dude. Now we just need to get you some of those like Indian woven like parachute pan things. And they probably had them there. You would have really liked it. The whole time we were going, Mo should be here, Mo should be here. I got a heavy handsome. Oh, please. cool. And then we got something, not much, do this. We didn't know what to get you. But we got you a little scarf for when it's come. 
Got six gallons of white and six gallons of brown rice. Puno white rice. When I go cruising around the North Atlantic in Greenland, I use nothing less than Nishiki rice. Nishiki. Nishiki. I love these. We're gonna freeze a whole bunch of these. This is gyoza. It's a Japanese dumpling. How is that? Yo gyoza. It's like a salami head for the that gyoza comes in. Gyoza, gyoza, <laughs> gyoza, gyoza. <laughs> so this is pork and chicken gyoza. Did you guys invite a few No, no, I think it's tea stroke. I wonder how people do this. Like they say, empty all the cardboard out before you get into the boat and don't bring any cardboard onto the boat when you're replenishing. But like if you've got 20 grocery sacks full of stuff and like you're undoing stuff on the dock, like, how do you do that? You bring your plastic containers to the dock and you fill them up. Really? At the dock. And if you're bringing fruit aboard, before you bring the fruit aboard the boat, you dump them into a bucket of bleached, bleached water. Is that killed bugs? Mm -hmm. I've never done that in my life. Six gallons of white rice, six gallons of brown rice, six gallons of rotini, six gallons of penne, Two gallons of no boil lasagna noodles. They're awesome. Two gallons of spaghetti. Gyoza. I think I need to top off the refrigerant in the compressor again. It's like there's no leak that I can find. And yet, after about three months of full time freezer use, it all of a sudden doesn't freeze as well. So we have 15 cans of refrigerant on board. Two dollar a pound. Two dollar a pound. pound. Two gyoza. Keep them frozen in, you know, in the freezer in the bag and then whenever you're hungry.